Okay, so hi everyone, it's Bao here, and I hope you're all doing okay um, at this time. So I'm, over the next like four videos, I'm going to show you some like resources, some sort of free apps and free online resources that like let you create music in lots of different and quite interesting ways. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you is called Chrome Music Lab, and it's um, free. And it's based on the internet, so it will run on a laptop or a PC, uh, and it will also run on your phone. So it's called Chrome Music Lab. And it has a few different um, experiments to play with. So some of them are like these ones here, this one called Harmonics. And what this is more about is about the physics of music, so, and the maths. So believe it or not, music and maths are really closely linked. And these ones sort of demonstrate that in quite a nice way. But then there's also ones that let you create music as well, as well as sort of just demonstrating stuff. So one quite cool one is the rhythm one, which lets you just like program simple rhythms. So what these are, are sequencers, and the sequencer lets you program a sequence of notes, and when you press play, the computer will play those notes you've told it to play. So this sort of demonstrates it. So now we're telling, for this one for example, we're telling these monkeys. So if I tell the monkey to then play his higher drum on those notes, Okay, and now I shall tell the little monkey to play his triangle on those notes. So you can see by clicking the notes on and off, we can change the rhythm. And that is what a sequencer is. So this is quite a nice little introduction to a sequencer. I'm not sure if these are like aliens or something. So again, by clicking on these little notes here, the dots, we're changing the pattern. So it's like, it's basically a pattern of notes and we just change them. So there's lots of different ones here to try out. This is quite a nice one as well with these Percussion instruments, conga and cowbell. So that's a really simple sequencer. It introduces you to the idea of what a sequencer does. So there's a quite a nice one called Song Maker. And this again is a sequencer, but a bit more complicated this one, a bit more um, useful really. Uh, so this, these are quite good ways of like starting off an idea. If you don't have any ideas of what, what kind of music you want to try making, these are quite good ways to start off. So this one has a, a big grid here. So we can put, click on any of the squares, or rectangles even, and press play. And we can see the bar moving along and when it hits, one of the squares that we've coloured in, it plays that note. Okay, and then we can vary the tempo. So the tempo, that word tempo means the speed of the music. So we can make it faster. At the moment it's 120, which means 120 beats per minute, which means in every minute there's 120 beats, simply. Let's turn that up to double that, 240. Okay, so that's the kind of melodic part of it. And we can change the sound as well. So we have five different sounds. There's a marimba like this one, and I'll go through them also as a marimba. Piano. Strings. Then woodwind. And then synth. So that's the kind of electronic buzzy sound. I like that one. So as well as just clicking, we can also just draw, use the mouse and draw. 
so it looks like quite a cool pattern, and then press play. Okay, so that's our melodic part of the sequence, but then we also have drums. So at the bottom, this grid at the bottom is drums, and it's just two different drums. So we're usually like a kick drum and a snare drum. So you can hear that. So I'm gonna go along and color and click on every second dot. Then the bass drum will play all the way through. And it'll play quite fast because we're at 240 beats per minute. So there'll be, based on every minute, there'll be 240 of these. So that's gonna be fast. Okay, then we can like program in on every, uh, one, two, three, then I'll do another one, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'll just click on the circles. This is gonna make a kind of interesting, what you call a cross rhythm. And again, we can change the sound of the drums by clicking on this little one here. Whoa. And we can change the synth back to... And we can change the tempo again, make it slower. Or faster again. Okay, and then in settings here, we can change the length of the whole loop. So at the moment it's four bars long, so music's divided up into bars to make it more manageable. So that moment, that was four bars we listened to it, but if we make it two, and we can maybe um, have more divisions of the beat. At the moment, they're divided up into two, so we're gonna divide it up into four, and then we'll click there. there. So now, I'll slow it down again to 120, or thereabouts, 119, that'll do. So you notice it now like loops round on a shorter loop. So it's two bars instead of four. But also each beat is now divided up into four. So we've actually got gaps in between our notes now. So we can actually make, this, this might be sound interesting if we do this. Basically put that high note in between all the notes we've got at the moment. Okay, we'll keep doing that. So there you see, because we've divided the notes up into four instead of two, we have more options to put the drums and make it a wee bit more interesting. So anyway, once we've kind of like happy with what we've got, you can click on save. So there's also another option here for mic. Now what that does, it lets you sing a tune into it. I'm not quite sure how well that really works. So if you click on it and go, yeah, stick in your mic to add notes. So, oh. adding a note there. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I've just sung those notes in well whether they really hit. Uh, and it's right there because the settings let you change all the stuff to do with the scale so we can make it pentatonic which sounds like this. It's a wee bit different because there's less notes for us to play with. Uh, and Or we can make it chromatic. I'll click on this now. Mm -hmm. 
So with chromatic, it gives us more notes and it lets us make things sound a bit weirder and a bit more, and a bit more uh, interesting. So we click on save, we want to save it, and then it lets you either, it will save a link, uh, so you can like send it to somebody, or you can download it MIDI, which was kind of not that useful to you, but you can download it as a WAV, which I would say is quite useful to you, that basically downloads it as an audio track. Okay, so that's the song maker. I'm gonna like just quickly show you another couple of little things here. This one, this one in particular called Kandinsky, which is really nice again. So this lets you draw, this is quite different. So this lets you just draw patterns on the screen. So I'm gonna draw a triangle and it sounds like that. So when I press play, and I'm gonna draw a circle over here. Now that kind of makes it into a wee, a wee face. Okay, then I'm gonna draw a square down here. Oh, so that's a kind of string, a kind of bass note sound. So every time I press play, it plays it from left to right like it would not with a normal sequencer. So again, it's this type of sequencer, but quite a kind of unusual one. I'm gonna draw a couple more circles because I like those wee faces. can change the sounds again by clicking this little colored circle here to make it like this. So the triangles are kind of drum sounds. Uh, the the other shape, these shapes here, the ones that go orange are kind of plucked type sounds. And the faces, the circles become faces and start singing. And there's one more kind of purple. Oh. So yeah, Kandinsky, that's a really fun one as well. So. There's other ones here for you to just try out. Just go to Chrome Music Lab. It's, well, in fact, it's musiclab.chromeexperiments.com and I'll put the link on this video anyway. Uh, okay, so you can have fun with these other ones as well. They're all pretty cool and quite easy to get into. Okay, so that's the end of this particular video and the next video I'll be talking about apps. Okay, cheers.